Hi, my name is Stefan Pastis, and I draw the comic strip Pearls Before Swine for United Feature Syndicate. A couple of years ago, I thought I would come to Kansas City to see if I could get someone from my rival syndicate, Universal Press Syndicate, to endorse my last book, Pearl Sells Out. When I got there, I ran into their vice president, John Glenn. And as you may remember, that didn't go very well. Hi, I'm Stefan Pastis, creator of the syndicated comic strip Pearls Before... Hi. Hi. Unfortunately for John, as a result of how he responded to me, he was suspended for a month without pay from Universal. Specifically, for all the F-bombs. Hi, I'm Stefan Pastis, creator of the syndicated yeah, comics. I can't this anymore. That's enough. I'm what Stephen the f up, man? Get your hands off of me, Jesus. When I look at you, I just want to shove your big fat head through the window. I'm done. Cut the camera. I didn't, I I didn't I'm done. So in honor of my next treasury, Pearls Blows Up, I thought I would return to Kansas City to see if I could heal the rift that had formed between John and myself. And I thought, what better way to show my commitment to the process than to look up John's home address on the internet and drop in on him unannounced. So come along. John Glenn, Stefan Passes, Pearls Before Swine. Mm -hmm. How did you uh, find my house? Oh, just uh, the internet didn't do anything. I, I just thought I'd stop by as sort of a goodwill thing since uh, everything went a little wrong last time. So I flew into Kansas City and I got you some stuff as a goodwill gesture. My plane stopped in Phoenix, so I got you a shirt. Uh, wow, looks like you put on a little bit, a little bit of weight. Uh, and then I got you a, uh, I got you a nice hustler. Um, I can sign it if you want. If you got a you got a sharpie or something, I, I can sign I, it. I don't have time for this. I have dinner guests, and uh, I don't know how you find this house, but I just use the don't. internet. I know, but I just want to do something nice. Please don't. I know, but you don't have to do that, John. I just want to do. So it's just. Listen. All I need you to do is to shake my hand so they can see it and memorialize the truth. It's all I'm asking. I've got, dude, I've got dinner to guests. I can't do this tonight. You're gonna lose your temper again, aren't you? No. No, I'm not. You got in trouble for it, didn't you? That's none of your business. Shake my hand, then. It's not a big deal. Just shake my hand. Listen, if you want to come down to the office... It's not that big a deal. Uh, and, ...and have a talk, that's fine, but... Shake my hand. I can't do it tonight. I've got dinner, I guess. You're getting angry. Look at that. I see it. You're getting really pissed off. I know you're mad, I know, I know you're mad, but just as a way of saying sorry, I got you this bouquet, I went and I bought it. This is for you. The... Where'd you get that? I bought it at the, uh, um, the Kansas, the Kansas City, uh, floral boutique shop. I'm kill you. What the f*** do you think you're doing? I, I, I know, I know you're angry, so I thought instead of doing what I want to do before, I don't have a copy of the Pearls Blows Up book, but I have the 2011 wall calendar and the 2011 box calendar. So if you could just maybe, uh, you know, hold them up and, and, and smile, just uh, just smile, you know, like, just don't give us a f about your comic strip. You're losing your temper again. Uh, I, I just I just wanted you to just smile. You ring this f***ing doorbell one more time, I'm going to Right, you understand me? One more f***ing time. What the f*** are you doing? Well, you said I couldn't ring the doorbell, but you didn't say anything about knocking. You didn't say anything. All right, dude, just give me the thing I brought. No, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Why isn't it a good idea? That's why I brought it. Well, if, if there's a neighborhood, yeah, I don't want to bother people. Yeah, I don't care. You're taking it. Bro. You don't give a anymore. John Glenn, I just want to be friends. 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 John Glenn, I just want... Jane Richardson, live across the street. I wonder what I'm... you're doing. Uh, I'm just here to see um, John Glenn. He lives here. Uh, why? Well, uh, I I'd rather not say, but... Um, 
if you have to know, he's a registered sex offender. You're kidding me. And I'm trying to get him removed from the neighborhood. You know, he's got to have a, a back door or something. Why don't we just go around? See if we can just, he's got a fence, let's just use the, go around. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So I just want to talk to the guy. Look at that. I go to I go to say something to him, and he gets me the. You know what? Here, I got something for you. Sean Glenn, you're an asshole. You are an asshole. Sean Glenn, you are an asshole. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ring the doorbell and I'm just gonna knock. Sean Glenn, we've got you surrounded. Three seconds to run for your life. Look, uh, I just want to. All what I'm asking for. What's going on? This is the guy. Oh my god, are you Stefan Pastis? Yeah. I love pearls before swine. <laughs> oh, thank you. I can't you. believe you're here. Thank you. Why are you all wet? Uh, your husband did that actually. He sprayed me with a hose. You did this? Are you kidding me? This is the guy. Come in, I'll get you a dry shirt. Oh, thank you. You're so much cuter in real life oh. than you depict yourself oh, in the well, strip. Oh, thank you. You're quite attractive also, You'll actually. stay for dinner, right? Oh, sure, sure, I hope sure. you like steak. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, clean all this Open the f***ing door. Open the door. Come on, honey. Please. Please. Hey, Miss Richardson. Just, uh... You f***ing pervert. What?